Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Neil. We've packed up our home in Glasgow and moved into our cute retro camper van Harmony to travel all over Scotland exploring the best places to stand up paddle along the way. So come join our adventure as we visit the highlands, islands and everywhere in between on our Sup Safari Scotland! We travel up the Great Glen along the banks of the usually foreboding looking Loch Ness. But not today. With weather like this, Nessie might be out sunbathing. But today Loch Ness monster hunting will have to wait as we're heading up to Glen Affric. We're at Glen Affric, which is one of my favourite places in Scotland. There's so many. I really love it here with the Caledonian pine forests. They're just gorgeous. It's a national nature reserve, has been since I think it was 1960. They started replanting, reforesting work here to preserve, particularly the, the Caledonian pine forest. But it's just beautiful. If you want to see remnant wilderness, this is certainly the place to come. So. The lock we're about to go out on today I think has been dammed, so a bit of an artificial level, something to watch for if you come here. There is information on the notice boards about how the level of the dam can change quite quickly depending on the water supply required for the power plant. So definitely worth checking that out. Really warm day today, lots of people out on the water, kayaks, other stand-up paddle boards. So yeah, it uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Glen Affric is well known for its rugged beauty and has the third largest area of Caledonian pines in Scotland. The area is a popular spot for walking, cycling, wild camping and horse riding as well as paddling. Champagne paddle boarding at Glen Affric. Beautiful Scots pines here in uh, paddleboarding in Glen Affric. It's a uh, magic place. up bloke zenning out again over there mm -hmm. over these GoPros. So we found a nice wee cove which is a bit more protected from the breeze on uh, on the lock. So as it's not very windy at all today just as we we're coming across to this side there was a wee bit of a cross breeze and current coming through so anywhere you go there's a possibility that conditions are going to change so it's always good to keep an eye on which way the wind's blowing.
After our paddle, we decide to check out the walks around the spectacular Plotter Falls. Oh my god! <laughs> And we stumbled upon this wee guy celebrating Glen Afric as the birthplace of the Golden Retriever. We headed up to Inverness for a look around as we'd never really spent much time up there. Recently I heard of this beautiful parkland that spans some of the islands and the banks of the River Ness. Even though the water is flowing too fast for paddling and it's too shallow and rocky, it's still worth checking out. We head down the eastern shore of Loch Ness as the weather is looking favourable for a paddle. Loch Ness can be quite an intimidating loch. The average temperature in summer is 15 degrees and in winter is 5. But interestingly, the water never actually gets cold enough to freeze over. Champagne paddling would you say? Champagne sit down paddling? Yeah. I think this is probably some of the best conditions we've had so yeah. far on the trip and it's on Loch Ness. Yes. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? The water is also very, very deep and very, very dark, making it just a little spooky if you ask me. Not to mention the Loch Ness Monster. But on a beautiful sunny day like this, it didn't stop people going in for a swim. I'm not going to lie, I really didn't want to fall into the water, but strangely it was way too hot for a wetsuit.
following day we had some more nice weather and explored some of the many forest walks along the Great Glen. This up bloke looking very professional there with his walking stick. So just going to do a wee bit of filming in Harmony while she's still relatively clean. Oh. We are back in Glasgow or at least on the outskirts of Glasgow. Really cool little camp up for the night in the Forestry Commission again. Uh, yesterday we met hopefully Harmony's new owner. Got a wee family so they're going to hopefully have some fantastic adventures in Harmony. Uh, got a few things that we need to do in and around Glasgow at the moment. Um, the other news not so good is that uh, we're essentially not able to get back into Australia at the moment. Um, we've just gotten this news. So we booked the ticket six months ago. As soon as the whole Mexican beer bug thing happened, Australia went into um, closing down the borders. So since then they've had a cap on the numbers of people that can come into the country. And, and it was about a month ago, I think, if we look at the news now, that they decided to halve the cap because they're right in the middle of winter at the moment. So essentially, our airline has just told us that we are one of the flights that they decided to cancel. Um, <laughs> we thought, okay, this wasn't going to be too much of a problem. We'd just ring up and book it in on the next opportunity, which we didn't think was going to be you know, too far off. But it turns out that's going to be March of next year. So it looks like we're going to be here. Um, until March. So at the moment, exploring a whole heap of different possibilities and yeah, it's just, yeah, <laughs> so we don't really know what we're doing at the moment. Um, but we've got lots of different options that we're exploring, so stay tuned. Meanwhile, um, yeah, the weather is meant to be really great. I mean, we've had it fantastic while we've been up in the Highlands. Um, but yeah, she's looking a bit misty and a bit rainy down in uh, Glasgow on the outskirts of Glasgow today so um yeah might head for the highlands again <laughs> and yeah see what happens so watch this space thanks for watching if you'd love to keep the videos coming you can support us by liking subscribing clicking notifications and sharing with your paddle body mates see you next week